KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. The U.S. Peace Memorial Foundation is a U.S. organization that awards the U.S. Peace Prize to those committed to promoting peace and justice work. More importantly, it nationally recognizes those who publicly oppose war. Past awardees include Ajamu Baraka and most recently Christine Ahn on behalf of Women Cross DMZ. The Peace Prize was also awarded to organizations such as Code Pink and Veterans for Peace. One of the nominees this year is none other than Guam's very own human rights lawyer and founder of Blue Ocean Law, Julian Uggin. I think it's just an honor because it situates our work in like a long standing tradition of people and organizations who are committed to bringing an end to war. He says he was elated and shocked when he was informed of his nomination. I would say that this um, prize could have easily gone to so many other people in the community doing really good work. So, so many other people are deserving of this award. So I, I was very, you know, happy and honored to be nominated. The peace and justice work Uggin and his firm have done in conjunction with local grassroots organizations earned him the nomination. Blue Ocean Law recently filed a submission to the UN Special Repertoires on behalf of Prutehi Latexan Save Retidian. That resulted in a pretty historic joint allegation letter sent by the human rights experts to the U.S. government um, alleging various human rights violations um, that have been occasioned by the military buildup. So much of the dollars that could be spent on health care, in essential in care infrastructure, education. I mean, like I'm so many of, you know, money that could be prioritized and sort of allocated to these kinds of sort of industries and these kind of sectors of the public sphere have been sort of allocated to the U.S. military. The U.S. military really enjoys um, sort of like a really disproportionate amount of the public treasury, you know, of, of the money of this country gets spent toward war. And that's something that has to change. But he says the deeper issue is the lack of consultation with massive developments such as the military buildup. They really proceeded without sort of these safeguards that the international community finds important. So, of course, you know, I, I, I clearly think um, that the military buildup is proceeding in a way that's harmful to the public interest. Um, not only to the environment. Aside from running a law firm, Uggin is also an author. He says he was humbled when his book, The Properties of Perpetual Light, received such positive reactions and support from the literary community and fellow writers. It's been pretty an amazing ride so far, and I want to stay on it, I think. Again, credits his team and supportive partner for getting him this far. And he says he'll continue to keep doing it as long as he can. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.